Good morning, Soul Fam. How's everybody feeling today? There's a little bit of an energy spike happening on the Schumann. I'm cold. Cold. I didn't wear my jacket. I thought my sweater would be warm enough. That was wrong. 34 degrees. I'm fucking cold. You would think that. Being born and raised in New York, my blood would be used to this fucking cold weather. But it's not. I'm not made for cold weather. I'm not made for hot weather either. I'm good with anything between 60 and 75, 80, 80 max. With no humidity. That's like ideal weather for me. Sunshine, no humidity. You're able to breathe, you're comfortable. That's the ideal weather for me. Anything that is below 60 is fucking cold. 34 degrees right now and it's freezing. And I went outside without a jacket. I did warm the car up a little, but not enough. <sighs> freaking cold! They say the cold weather is good for you, but I beg to differ. <laughs> it's so uncomfortable. You know, I really don't mind 60 degree weather. As long as, you know, sweatshirts, sweaters, stuff like that, and there's no wind, that's good. But anyways, that's not what I came on here to talk about. I didn't come here to talk about the weather. I came here to say hello. Boy, oh boy, have I been going through some shit. Let me tell you guys. Everything that is happening is like doing something to me. It really is. Um, it's bringing a lot of shadows to the surface. And it's, uh, it's a challenge. Anytime that you meet your shadows, it's a challenge. But um, I'm learning a lot more about myself. Um, I'm also learning that, I mean, this is no big secret, but it might be something that you guys don't know if you are new to this journey, but the longer you are on your path and you hold light, you attract demons. It seems like you attract demons. It's not that you're really attracting demons. They're just aspects of you that are unhealed. And you could either mingle with your demons, meaning lower your vibration and be a, a part of the problem or you can raise your vibration and shed light on the problem and help heal that aspect of yourself. It's not gonna be easy. It's going to trigger the fuck out of you. But I just kept saying to myself, observe, don't absorb. I know the meaning of that. But lately, when I've been put into the challenge, observe, don't absorb. I had like an aha, oh, whoa. There's a bigger meaning to this. And you wouldn't really understand it until you find yourself in that situation, a situation where you know, a triggering situation that would trigger you to absorb what you're experiencing and react. I had to check my ego. It wasn't easy. I had some help. I had one of my angelic soul members remind me that I'm fucking divine and helped me keep my light right because it was dimming and um, 
that's when I just kept saying absorb don't I mean observe don't absorb don't absorb <laughs> observe observe don't absorb and I can literally it was like I had a mental picture of me being a sponge and you know how sponges have all those like crater holes <clears throat> well when I kept telling myself to observe don't absorb all of a sudden the crater holes started to become smooth there was nothing to absorb because I was grounding myself by saying that little mantra observe don't absorb and then when I finally had that aha moment something else happened I seen a, a vision of myself standing somewhere I, I want to say like in the void But it wasn't in the void because it wasn't dark. The place that was that I was in was it kind of looked the way a cloud looks. It was I was in a place that was blue but misty. And then all of a sudden, all of these strands of lights, skinny little strands of light, started to wrap itself around my body, like like a yarn ball. When you take yarn and you make a ball out of it, and you just keep rolling the yarn in different directions to create a ball. Well, all of this light started coming out of the mist and it started to wrap itself around me and nothing could get through it and I could not even, like, not even me can come out of it, but nothing could come into it either. And it was something that was, I, it's like I received a, you know when you get a, like a, ba a badge of honor or like a medal? It's like I received a shield of light like I feel like I passed a test or something and I received the shield of light and um, I feel differently <laughs> I don't even know how to explain what I feel I just feel differently I feel better I feel good oh look a hawk ha! that's cool it's my spirit animal that's synchronicity right there that's validation fuck the synchronicity that's a validation yeah, that's a message from spirit that, you know, what I'm speaking is truth. Rather you believe me or not, it's my truth. Um, but yeah, so grounding is so unbelievably important. Protecting your energy is so unbelievably important, especially now. I've been reading a lot of comments on some of my friends' um, pages, YouTube and Instagram, and some a few people commented like, um, you know, I thought you were a spiritual person and you're talking politics. And, some, you know, a couple other people said a few things along those lines. Well, I don't know how, but politics... Like, you know how science should go hand in hand with um, metaphysics? You know, like it should be both spiritual and science. It should go hand in hand. It seems like something about politics is a part of, not to go hand in hand per se, but it has something to do with what is going on and I feel that it's symbolic and I feel that I want to be very clear I do not vote I don't give a shit who the president is I don't give a fuck about politics it's all an illusion it's all here to cause you know um, a divide it's all a power trip but there is something within the, polit the, the politics that needs to change. I'm not saying that Trump is a saint, but I feel like a lot of the shit that's, that's happening is being, is gaslighting. 
and his credibility doesn't look very good because of the way he comes off. But there's something behind him that is something. I don't know what it is. But I, I don't trust either or, but there's something about... Even if he's an asshole, he's still trying to tell us something cryptically. Symbolically. And the powers that be know this. He knows something that they don't want us to know but he's trying to tell us and only a few people are able to catch on because it's so symbolic but because of the way he carries himself the way he talks because he comes off as a big huge asshole um you know the other party is like making you know they they have a good like they have good credibility so it looks like you know they're playing the victim and He is like, at this point, like the black sheep, and he's been silenced. He's been cast out. And I know what that's like, because I have been cast out of my family for speaking truth, because people don't like that. And I've come off as an asshole. But, um, I don't know, someone's at my dad's house. But, um... I just want to tell you guys, basically, I just want to tell you guys, protect yourself, ground yourself, and protect your energy, and observe, don't absorb, absorb, okay? Don't absorb, protect your energy at all costs. Hold a high vibration and try not to pick a side. You don't need to pick a side because you are love, you are divine. I love you guys. I'll catch up with you later.